Hello everybody, um, it's just coming up to half past nine in the morning and what I'm going to do today is give myself a couple of hours to write a piece of music, something, you know, two and a half minutes, something like that, to give you the answer to a question or at least an insight into the answer to a question which uh, we get asked quite a lot which is how do you take that initial four bar phrase, that little initial idea and develop it into something slightly larger. I have no idea what I'm going to write, um, but here's a preview of how it turned out. I should really bring something else in there actually. That's where it needs a little bit of a lift. So you now know what I'm about to write and I don't. How weird is that? And I'm walking along as though I've got somewhere to go, but I really haven't. I'm on my way to the shed to start writing that piece of music you just heard. Oh, loud dog. Pausing merely to pick up a cup of tea en route. Let's get going. <laughs> okay, time to put my proverbial money where my mouth is. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to load up uh, an empty Cubase project. Um, the thing about writing, finishing what you start, which is partly what this blog is about, and, and it's partly about um, you know productivity, is you need most people. Uh, don't have enough ideas um, to sustain a piece which goes like three minutes. It's going to take more than one idea. So we're going to have an idea, and then we're going to have to come up with another idea, which is a closely related, to, uh, which is closely related but different. So then we've got a sort of A and a B section or something, something along those lines, and then we can start working various techniques to um, do sort of effectively theme and variations. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think this is how Rachmaninoff and Paganini and people can work? Whoa, I've got to get a blog out by three o'clock. No, I don't think so. I don't think. Well, who knows? Anyway, um, I'm not starting with a template today. I'm just starting with um, a completely empty, um, uh, completely empty project, and then we'll just add some stuff in. And I, I have a look. I genuinely have absolutely no clue what this piece of music is going to be like. I bet. I, I mean, I. What, is it is it orchestral? No, I want to do something different. Okay, um, well, different. <laughs> me asking quite a lot under the circumstances. Right, um, what do we start with? Well, we're going to get a piano up because this is a, a you know, it's. I know. I just said let's do do something different, and the first thing I do is load a piano, which is about the most obvious thing you could possibly do. Um, so we're going to start with. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a piano to me. <laughs> you know, I've been at this quite a while and I can tell you that's a piano. Right, we're going to need... I'm going to get some drums up as well. And what am I going to use? Uh, today I'm going for battery. I like battery. Uh, here's battery. Uh, it's uh, from Native Instruments and it comes with billions of kits. Uh, let's... Oh, it's all, all that seems to be, uh, oh right, entire kit of, uh, well that'll do for the time being. Um, we're going to have, what else am I going to load up? Well, I'm sure we'll use contacts, so I'm going to put a couple of contacts in. Let's have five of those, and we'll have a bit of Dune, because I like Dune. Dune's really good, uh, it's my favourite uh, synth of the moment. Um, and where is it? It can be quite CPU hungry, but I forgive it that because it sounds lovely. Uh, there we go. Hello, June. Ah, somebody said something about don't talk to your instruments. It's a bit weird. Okay, so I'll do my level best not to. Right, okay. So here is uh, the beginning of our piece. Now we're going to have to come up with an idea. <laughs> I can prevaricate no further. Right, okay. Um, um, what are we going to start with? Are we starting with a melodic idea? Mm -hmm. 
I'm just I'm not really having <clears throat> I'm literally just looking for a motif which has I've written that before actually That's all right. I that, okay, what is that chord there? That chord there is a C sus four. If you go C, F, G, there you go. There's the sus four bit. So there's a normal C, so that, is C with the fourth suspended. I leave the fourth there and I put the and I put that up there. And suddenly it sounds well. I, I quite like it. But then I'm very easily pleased. Okay, that works. Right. Let's see where this is going. I hope I like this. <laughs> ah, right, so we've got our first little element in here. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna, what are we going to do underneath this? What this isn't this is a half an idea. Uh, um, I'm just I'm honestly I'm just largely looking at, at, at random here. Three. Oh, I like that. That sound I like. So you noodle about and you come up with a uh Okay. And now we're going to work out how to quantize that so that it's nice and regular. That'll do. Uh, now we're going to add uh, an effects track because we're going to have reverb. Up comes cinematic rooms, which is, as you know, my new favorite reverb. Um, what are we going to go with? There's tons. A friend of mine was asking, say, what's your favorite room? What's your favorite room? I said, you know, to be honest, I haven't had it very long and I haven't really got into it yet. But there is so much in here. You know, not just the big kind of ambient stuff. Uh, live room. Uh, bright live where's the wood ah there was a wooden one uh where's the wooden stage i quite like wooden stage let's give that one a go a, a run for its money um okay uh, let's go to send from the battery to it's no it's not right for the, the wooden stage is not right for this uh, i need to go back to a uh, classic hall, I think. Okay. Right. 
Okay, this is this isn't an idea. This is an idea coming together. This isn't a complete idea yet, obviously. Um, so it's got elements in it, but it's not by any means there yet. Um, what about this? You know, uh, uh, what are we gonna? What we got going on in the synth world? Um, I prefer not just to, you know. If you're trying to do something fast, you tend to go back to your sort of default settings, and my default settings tend to be sort of fairly sort of cheesy orchestral stuff. But let's see what goes on if I try and avoid that. I'm, you know, we will get some orchestral elements in here. No, 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 no. What I try and do is I find, I find a, I, I find a, a sound which I quite like, and then I modify it. Mm, no, not feeling it. Uh, let's find. <clears throat> no, uh, I'm looking for. I was trying to click on pads and I missed. There we go. <laughs> okay, I quite like that. And then I'm going to put. Um, a little kind of effect on it. Where is it? There we go. We're gonna. It's gonna go. You, 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 you. You've seen me use Transcape before, uh, from my friend at, at uh, Killer Hearts. Killer Hearts, I should say. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, don't want it that quick. I want it that quick. And I want it to fade in and out like that. What I might need to do with this is to adjust the timing because um, that's nice Okay, so far we've got two thirds of an A idea. We haven't got anything else going on yet. Um, but this is not the worst start ever. I'm thinking of putting some delay on that. I know, don't get bogged down in the detail yet. Right, <clears throat> now, um, I quite want a bass. I, I want a simple bass, a simple synth bass, and I'm gonna go for uh, Yuhei Pro One. And here it is. Hello, Yuhei Pro One. <laughs> don't, <laughs> ever since somebody said, don't talk to you, thing, I, I, every time I just go, oh, but, hello guy, how are you doing? I just suddenly realized that's, Men in white coats will come and take me away. I often start with first base, and then I'm going to take the envelope amount out. Uh, where's this? Ah, filter envelope amount. There we go. Okay, let's see how. I'm not quite sure how this is going to fit in. We'll find out. Okay. Um, what often happens is you start playing and the idea actually comes along later.
OK, so I think um, this is starting to come together. So we're going to have a bit of a... I like this June thing. This works for me. Um, now, we're not going to bring everything in at once. Uh, so we're going to, this is this sort of beginning section. So the little piano works. Maybe I'm going to start that uh, synth bit a little bit earlier. So that's the first thing you hear. Then in comes the stick. Tell you what, um, I'm going to add to that a little, I don't know, a shaker loop or something. I think some extra little percussive layer in there might help. Um, so we're going to go for up comes Splice. Splice is very good. For those of you who don't uh, know it, it's a subscription uh, sound library where you whatever you want, you can have, basically. Uh, let's uh, so you put in shaker and um, it's great. So I want a shaker loop. I want a loop, not a single event. What have I got? That's uh, slow, but not quite like that. And that's tambourine. Is it going to fit? Open it up. Click this little button here, which will adjust the timing so that the timing now fits with the rest of the track. See what it sounds like. That's better. I like that. Right. Well, we can't do that for three minutes. Um, <laughs> obviously so look um okay what we're what we're doing at the moment is just building up one idea and then we're going to work out how to extend it and what else i need to add into it um to make it um grow into something slightly more substantial i've let my tea go cold classic error terrible terrible mistake right let's crack into this so do we need hmm what do we got it sounds like a backing track waiting for something else to happen. I have no idea what this one does. Lo-fi glow. I'll go for some lo-fi glow. I don't mind. Yeah, go on. Go lo-fi guy. Ooh. Okay. Thank you for that, Loafer. Now. Adding little elements as we go. How could you get something as simple as that wrong, Guy? Um, a lifetime of practice. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Okay, so, okay, this is not the worst thing ever so far. Um, it's coming, I know, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, now we need a bit of a kick. What are you writing, Guy? I said when I started, 9.27, 40 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, something like that, I had no idea, and I still have no idea. Okay, let's, I just want a nice, dull 808 kind of kick. Um, what have we got? No, no. 
I want a subby sort of kick, really, but I don't want a sub. Really. I want something. No. No. A deep kick. Anyway, that's better. That'll do. I can work with that. Was it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Now, how long is it? Probably too long. A lot of them are too long. So, okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh goodness, what have I done? Right, uh, click to the quantize. Right, snap to. Right, so we're going to make it a little bit shorter. Um, so then that goes on each beat. But it's not going to start there, I don't think. Or well, maybe it is. You know, I didn't imagine I was going to write this today, but, you know, it sounds like a vocal should come in. So now we need to build this up. Right, let's put this in context. Let's go back to the beginning and listen to it from the start. We need some reverses and things like that. Tell you what, I said vocal. Now, a little while ago, um, I got a library which I really like the sound of. Um, let me just, oh, hang on, what's going on here? That's not where it is. Um, let me just, bear with me a second, I'll just find it. Here you go, zero G Etheria. Uh, vocal phrase is Clara. Let's choose Clara, see what she sounds like. Because she might be great. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who Clara is. So what do you think? <laughs> is this going to be any good? I don't know. Oh, blimey. Hello, Clara. What key is she in? Hmm, what? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's very minor, though. Uh, come on, then. Let's see how um, Danielle does. Yep. I thought it was going to be a woman. That works. Again, it's a bit minor, but... Oh, hang on. Hang on, guy. What am I in? It's all minor. But I didn't mind that phrase. That phrase was good. good that is good that'll work 
and that becomes a little feature of this piece um, but it's not coming in there where is it <sighs> Where do I introduce my little idea? With the shakers? Okay, so, so far, so, I mean, so it's, I don't know what this piece is. I have no idea what this piece is. Um, tell you what, that vocal sample is really good. Um, so I better, look, it's a, it's a library called Etheria, and it's got all these vocal stuff in, it's got lots and lots, it's got legatos and all kinds of stuff. I mean, really, uh, I mean, pff, obviously it's, you know, ethereal, it's ethereal, isn't it? Um, but you've got all these incredible little phrases in there. And it looks like if I spent more than two seconds trying to work out what's going on, uh, you've got an, a lot of control over stuff. So what happens if I have scripted legato Daniel? If, does he do legato? Apparently Daniel does the legato, it says here. So let's see what his legato is like. Um, is that going to be of any use? in this little kind of uh, piece. Yep, he does legato all right. Blimey, O'Reilly. He looks a bit serious. Come on, lighten up, mate. Give us a smile. That might come in useful. Um, is there a... Uh, gold vote okay let's see vocal synth let's see what vocal synth comes up with at um uh, i should have looked at the manual <laughs> i have no idea what's going on here uh okay layer one That's quite an interesting sound. It's going to get more interesting when I add some... Ooh, yeah. What are we adding to this? Um, I'm looking for... What are you doing, guy? You're just messing. You're just messing. Okay, I like this. Let's pan them left and right. Ooh, yeah. This is going to work. Hang on. What haven't I done recently? I haven't saved my work at all, have I? Ever. <laughs> Not since I started this piece, uh, however long ago that was. Um, so maybe that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Okay. So we're going to create a new uh, folder for it. And I'm going to... The best way of backing up stuff is this is whatever. Friday tune. Um... Yep, Friday tune. In you go. Select folder. 
we'll call it FT1. Uh, I use the backup facility because it puts everything in the same folder and that's nice and easy. Now, um, let's now start. We're starting to get some, enough elements that I'm going to have to start thinking about structure. Okay, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting to a point where we're going to put a little sort of droppy thing in. I quite like bringing this in early, I think. I like that, but that's a, that's a B idea. That's a, not a bad idea. I'm going to keep this going, but we're going to put in some form of drop in a minute. At, um, this is kind of... It's working, isn't it? I mean, it is... Well, for, you know, I have no idea what this piece is. It's starting to get a little... Right, I'm going to let you see from the top this time, and I'll try and talk you through it. So what I'm doing, I know that the, the, the essence of this is it's got this sus4 thing going on for it. Um, and so I'm starting with a, a C sus4, which is that. And then I'm just kind of messing around with it. Two, three, four. And I'm using the mod wheel here to bring it in very subtly. Let him do his thing. Sus two. Okay, um, shall we have another one of him? Yeah, why not? Where are we going to stick him? Oops, oops. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do? We're going to stick him on a beat, aren't we? Gonna... Where does he come in? What beat? Of... He's on the downbeat of the bar. Um, so we're going to move him up here somewhere. Why don't you go there, mate? Okay, then we're going to have to introduce a little droppy thing. So far, so good. It sustains. Okay. So about 15 seconds in. Um, about bar 25, I'm going to... I'm going to go into a B idea. Uh, what are we going to pull out? Well, the kick, obviously. Uh, and... Then And the bass. Mm -hmm. 
Um, or we just simplify the bass like that. Let's see what happens. No, doesn't work. So do we leave the bass in? No. And we need something else in there, don't we? Um, what happens if I... Do we keep going with our... Maybe we keep our, our vocal thing going. This one. Not like that, though. No, that's not right either. Um, so we need another idea. Okay, we're also going to start needing to put some of these reverses in to finesse some of these little transitions, because this is not working quite right yet. Um, what am I going to do for my... Uh, what do I want for a reverse this time? Um, <clears throat> you can use absolutely anything, obviously. Um, I do know, let's, let's load up some percussion in Abbey Road 1 and see what happens. Or something like that. Um, we're going to go for... There's percussion. And we're going to go for... I don't know, just load the whole percussion thingy. See what happens. Um, I have no idea. Um, oh, soft boom, bass... Um, okay, what I, what I sometimes do, if I don't know what any of these are going to sound like backwards, I will just run through the whole lot, bounce it to audio, That'll do for now. Then I render it as audio. I run it backwards and then I see which one I like. That's all right for a kickoff. That's, that works. Uh, that sort of big rushy sound. I quite like that. And that one. And they're all both quite good actually so far. That's a, no. Okay. Um not wild about these two, but other than that, they were pretty good. So I take them all like that. Um I select the whole lot, put fades on the front, and then um call them reverse just rev and then I uh, bounce them in place so that they become um, individual audio files um, and they'll be useful um, I need something more wacky than that though these are very straight you know so you can put them in this one's the nicest I think it's nice and simple that it works um, right, let's make it shorter. That way it's exactly one beat. Right, and let's turn these off for the moment and take that. So 
So that's going to lead up to the drop, and we're going to put we're going to put it in back here to lead into that. Okay, the end's not quite right. So take the end off like that, rebounce it, and put it there. Now I find it easier to line this up to a grid like that. So I know I can drop it on the first beat of the bar and it's always going to be in time. There we go, that's all right. I think we need something else though. Um, am I just going to drop these at random or am I going to just use them in special places? Special places, guy! I need something else in here. I need um, electric piano or something. I need something in here. There's something not quite all together about this yet. Um, well, I love that lo-fi lo thing. It's great, though. I really like that. Tyrolean harp. That wouldn't strike me as the first thing I think of. But it is uh, an interesting... S that is not a bad sound. That is a nice sound, because it's a different sound. It's interesting, isn't it? Let's, uh, it doesn't sound the same as everything else. Because it's got a slightly worldy feel, this kind of little track we're doing. I'm just messing here, trying. To, there's way too much reverb on it. it sounds like it's the other side of the, the universe. Um, do I put some delay on it as well? I could do, couldn't I? Let's see what comes up. Something in there is going to work. <laughs> um, I'm not sure any... Okay. Who would have thought... I still think we're lacking at sort of a main event yet. tune yes we do That's going to help. And 
now I've got something to work against. I'm going to move that one so it doesn't clash with the tune. I move that one so it comes up. I think we've got too many of these now. Um, I, we're nearly there. There's something not quite right here. What happens if I take whatever is going on in this vocal part and extend it? So because it seems like quite a long system. Oh, how many bars were you planning on doing that for, guy? Okay. Okay. That's going to work. We need a piano reverse as well. Right, what am I going to play backwards? That. Okay, played in and up there. There it is. Render it. Reverse it. Uh, okay. Let's now put that in there. So we've got this little drop. Okay. Right, okay. Um, that, that works. Then it's gonna come back in. And when it comes back in, Something else has got to be going on. Um. And we're going to get, uh, then we're going to add to this. Um, a loop. In comes audio. Uh, it's a stereo. Yep. In goes that. We go loop. And we're going to go to splice and we're going to pull down uh, a splice special. Uh, so we want a drum loop. I don't know what I want really. Uh, loops. If, if you can't spell drum, you can't expect Splice to come up with anything. Uh, well, that's not gonna... No, obviously, obviously not. No. Where are we, in the circus? I don't think so. Travis, please, take a deep breath. Oh my lord. 
What's that going to sound like if I drop that in? I might be able to work with that because it's going to go a lot faster by the time I uh, drop it in. Uh, it says 105. It's uh, adjust the tempo. It's see, it could sound terrible. You never know. To it's going to come in there, isn't it? I know I've got the kick going underneath, but that's still not going to work. I like these vintage loops. I'm going to filter out the kick, but as a top loop... Yep, I like that. Right, now let's do something with this. Uh, where's, where's my loop gone? Where's my loop? Loop, 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 loop. I had it labelled up. I can't... I, am I being blind? Oh, no. Yes, you are, guy. It's there. Right, solo it. Uh, let's get into the world of plugins. Uh, so first of all, we need some EQ. And we're going to take the bottom off and that'll do uh, so we go uh where is my how do i turn this uh ooh, how do i turn this into a uh that's what i want Let's see if that works um apparently nothing's happening okay Let's just loop that round and round. Let's compress it. Uh, where's my threshold gone? Oh, there. Slow down that attack. Okay. Okay. Now let's whack up the volume a bit. Okay, take that off. What else is coming in here which isn't in the first bit? Take that out. I could try making this a lot longer so it warbles. Now, this is now into the B section. Are we boring you? <laughs> I mean, oh, it's cold in here actually. Right. So, what time is it? 11 o'clock. So, I've been going for an hour and a bit, and uh, it's okay. Um,
Okay. Um, now, um, I think I can draw. Right, what's going to come next? This is where we need a new idea. Why don't I go back to Etheria? Because that did me really well before and then build something around it rather than trying to add it in later. <laughs> what is going on? See what else I've got in this uh, amazing. Blimey. transpose that I think um, so what I'm going to do is render it um, and then I'm going to pitch it's D and I wanted in C so I'm going to take it down a tone and I'm going to turn off time correction if you turn off time correction you then get uh, something which isn't distorted No, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Okay, let me. Well, as this is going so well, let me. Do, do I? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, What I'm gonna do? There's a D minor in there. There's an E minor. Uh, C minor cinematic. Just put this piano back for a moment so that I've got something to reference. Uh. I tell you what, I've just had a thought. What happens if I auto tune this to a major scale? Blimey. He had his shredded weight. Okay. Come on. Come on, auto tune. Where have you gone? There you go. Right. Auto tune input alter tenor, uh, graph, classic format. Uh, where's the. Where's, the, where's me? 
do 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 where's my key where's my key oh chromatic there we go major Reaching speed fast. Actually, I need to do is just edit it. Unless I go back in, let me just go back in to wherever Ethereum's gone. Oh, Ethereal Earth, I didn't expect that. Oh, no, 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 of course, it didn't come up as part of it's a uh, Okay, what have we got? Gold phrases, vocal chops, scripted legato, Daniel, Clara, synth. Uh, should we go back to Clara? See what Clara's got to say for herself. There she is. Oh my lord, that is amazing. That wasn't a phrase, that was me playing that. Okay. Yep. This is gonna work. It's incredible. I really like this. Um, it sounds amazing. Let's record it again, though. Is extraordinary. Render. Um. I'm wondering if I duplicate it, offset it, I can have a kind of Going sort of multiple layers of it. I wonder if that's going to work or is it going to sound really naff?
That's amazing. Okay, new idea. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a B flat, then down to an F over this early bit. This seems to work. Okay, that works. I like that. Blimey, this is turning into a, the world's most epic bloody video. Okay, it's going to render the whole of that synth out to start with. Um, so, crikey, what's going on? How long have I been going? An hour? More? I've totally lost plot. 11 o'clock. Yeah, just over an hour. So we're kind of, how far into this? How? I mean... We've got an A section, now we're building the B section. Um. Okay. What I'm gonna try and do here What I'm looking for is a way of coming up with a, a piano line which fits where the other one was. Nearly there, nearly there.
now? Where's my bass gone? Nearly. Let's try this again. Nope. Oh, it's... I know what's going on here. Nearly. What needs to happen is, um, why I'm to keep on saying nearly is, it's the balance between a rhythmic bass line and uh, the sustain one. And I want the sustain one to come in. So I'm gonna go on off beats here. Now to the sustain. Right. Now we have a viable A section and a viable B section. There's lots of tidying up to be done, um, but we're certainly starting to get somewhere. And then we can go back to our A section again. Um, let me just... Right, how long have we been going uh, in terms of uh, duration? How far into this song are we? Because now we're going to go back to... Um, so we're only, we're only a minute in when we hit the B section. Mm-hmm.
then take the drums out. not the end okay one twenty so where we go Now we can reintroduce Okay. Resave. Right, look, I'm gonna stop for a moment and go and get a fresh cup of tea and then we'll reconsider where we are uh, in this what is turning into this utter epic. But nonetheless, um I think this might you know, we're getting somewhere, aren't we? We've got an A section, we've got a B section, and now we just need to uh, work out so we're halfway through I think um, so we started there okay let me just see second wise how far we're going because I said we were going to do three minutes didn't I um, so we're starting there uh, and we've got up to oh okay we're in sight the three minutes is up there so we've got about as much to go again so look this is where we are and that's probably where if we're going to go for a three minute track we're going to go up to there so we now need to start using some ingenuity to try and work out how we're going to make this last a bit longer see you in a minute everybody welcome back um so yes yeah, so that took <laughs> that little gap took rather longer than expected um so now i'm back and i'm going to listen to it through and i'm worried that what actually i've written uh is like uh some kind of travel commercial or something it all sounds a bit kind of mm, i'm not sure anyway we're going to press on with this and we're going to make it happen um it's uh okay let's Let's have a little listen. Let's have a review of where we are with this piece and what we think of it. Okay, turn that down, turn that up. Here we go. Like the start. Like the vocal. This is where it goes all slow motion people by the pool. Anyway, we're stuck with it now.
now. Now we're gonna get, now we're gonna, okay, there, there, get rid of all that stuff. And I've got a, you can hear there's a hanging controller. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. There you go. Uh, you can hear that hang, you see that sustain, which is still on? Uh, that's because uh, it's a thing called controller 64 and controller 64 would have gone on and I've just deleted the off and so it just sits there hanging in space like that. So what I need to do is drop it into record and go. There you go. And drop in uh, a little controller 64 off or I could have drawn it with a pencil either way. Right now come on let's get this done. Um, do, are we going back to the beginning idea again? I think we are. Uh, right, where's the beginning idea? There's the beginning idea. Uh, let's uh, now bring that back to, let's turn the snapping on. I used snapping to beat and see if it there. Okay, and then so this time we're now going to, yeah, we're going to take that back out. We're going to have some more of that. We like that. And we, where's the throbby one? Where's the little kind of pulsy thing? Which one was it? Oh, there. I like that. I think we're going to go for something we're going to change things up here and we're going to change things up by what are we going to do ah what i could do um arrangement wise i wonder if this is going to work uh if we put this piano part down here on the tyrolean hop what's going to happen that works And then I can swap it over. So I'm the structurally, it's starting with section A. It's then going to B. It's now going back to A again. But uh, I'm just changing up the... Uh, so the development is by swapping around the lead instrument, putting what was the lead doing the accompaniment and putting the lead and what was the accompaniment on the lead. So therefore, as I go through this, you'll hear then if I do, if I stick to this idea, I seem to have lost the ability to play. Uh, it's going to work, I think. And now we want to, uh, we're going to have something else going. We're going to get a different synth in there. So I'm going to disable that one. And I'm going to get, uh, I want a throbby one. I want one which is going, woo, 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 but I don't want that one. I want, oh, spoilt for choice, spoilt for choice. Um, I don't know. I just pick one at random, see how it comes out. This is uh, Matrix from what? No, I don't want to do that. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh my lord. That's a bit. Should I go for a pad? I'm not feeling the. No, I'm not feeling the lad love for this. I'm going to go back to safe territory. Hello, Dune. No, I know what I'm going to do. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to... Okay, I, I've just had an idea. Uh, I'm going to get um, Stray Light or one of those up. Um, but first of all, we're going to look for... Actually, sometimes... Sometimes I use a lead and then roll the top off it and make it a bit less... That's not bad. Okay, tell me you don't... still got merge turned on hence you were hearing two of me playing badly at the same time <laughs> even better than one of me going to put any throbbiness in there I'm I almost always put a bit of throbbiness in there to be honest I'm th go to my default throbby thing I mean there's plenty of others oh no it's not that um, uh, which do the same thing LFO tool tremolo uh, uh, what's it called there's a sound tools one as well sound toys one um, and they're all good um, I just happen to like this one uh, some of them are clicky. Some of them are clicky, and the, you know, and when it opens and closes the gate, it you know, it's that's okay. So we're going for this. That works. I like that. Try doing what we were doing with the with the girl, um, doubling him up. Um. This is going to work. You see, actually, to be honest, I'm preferring this bit of it to the um, rather less less attractive side of some kind of dodgy commercial right now we need to pan things around right 
what we got? We got that contact one. Okay, so here we go. Okay, um, I think this is all working. Um, as I say, I prefer this bit to the other bit. this cannon effect I think it's just right let's get back to the piano what happens if I play oh hang on no, not that one. No, that one. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, there we go. That's just bringing this little thing down back to life over here. Right. Um, so we're gonna. I think I'm gonna just do some kind of big uh, suspended chords because. Okay, that'll work. Um, are we going to duplicate this or add a track? Um, I'm not. Okay, no, we'll keep it all in the same track. We'll go to merge mode. Right, here we go. Mr. Lo-Fi, Mr. Where I, we've not we've missed a trick here with Mr. Lo-Fi because we like Mr. Lo-Fi, didn't we? Uh, where has he gone? Uh, kick. Oh, we could, I still I'm in two minds about whether to reintroduce the kick up here. Whoops. I tell you what, let me put it there and then I can always get rid of it. I'm not sure if this is the. As I say, I have a feeling this kind of slightly obvious dull fall to the floor.
okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I'm just sort of rearranging things on the fly here, as you can see. But where's, where's the girl's voice gone? I wonder if... What happens if we... If we layer them up so that we end up with a cacophony? That's, that could be what's about to happen. <laughs> Okay, um, that, it's, it works to a degree, I mean, it, like a lot of these things, actually what you end up doing is possibly starting again, uh, taking the best ideas out of this, and, shall we put a low, low piano note at the end? Okay, there's so much wrong with this, but it doesn't matter, look, it's, okay, let's, right, now with this, okay, this thing down here, rather than just make it stop, what I'm going to do, where, where, where does this piano note go on to, let's just drag that and find out, so that's where the end of the piece is, 79, so what I'm going to do is I drag that back in, I put the natural end of the note around 79, then I drag that back out and then I crossfade them where you won't notice. And then that's. Okay. So. What's happened here is what often happens, and it's what I was implying a moment ago, which is you start with an idea and some of them work and some of them don't. And as you go through, you start working out the bits you like and the bits you don't. And there's ideas in here I do like. It does sound, it does, as I say, it sounds like a bloody advert for a holiday company or something. Anyway, look, let's, let's, uh, let's run this through and see what we think. Okay, where does it actually start? Oh, it just starts before that, doesn't it? Right, here we go.
Um, it needs to pick up the energy again. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to drop in, I'm going to go back with, so we're going to recap. So we're building into this end bit here, uh, sort of. Okay. Um. Right, I found another little idea. So what I can do is I can put in some of these vocals and reverse them so then they mysteriously change from so they crescendo at the end as opposed to dying away uh, so that one will do there we go back and then what about uh, Etheria here are we gonna are we gonna take her and whiz her about and things like that I think we are you never know I mean it might be a subtle thing but it might be something people like also I I, I want a one of those to run backwards nice and long That'll do. Uh, now we go to that one and render it. Normalize it. Reverse it. And run it down to its own little track. And call Rev P. There is something fundamental missing from this track. I'm not quite sure what it is. Inspiration? <laughs> Talent? I don't know. That works. I like that. Um, okay. Save. So we've done a two and a half minute piece of music. It's taken a bit longer than I expected, to be honest. And it's not great. It's all right. It's a bit middle of the road, to put it mildly, but... It's 
to play that in more subtly. I could spend here mixing for, and faffing with this for ages. Ends a bit ragged, but it's look. I mean, uh, it serves a purpose. Okay, what have we got going on here? This is too short. I want a longer haul than that. Maybe I'll just go back to the amethyst haul because I like it. Let me just make sure it hasn't covered everything in wetness suddenly. But Yeah, that's nice then. So, just talking you through it. So we've got the intro, so now we're into the A section with the dodgy little tune. Should really bring something else in there actually that's where it needs a little bit of a lift and then it, up to here it's suddenly gonna we hit a little drop then we're gonna here we're gonna go into the B section where it goes from that C sus4 down to B flat down to F Back up to B flat again. Down to F. Now we're going back to chord one, C. Then it's got this kind of, it's like a second B section, but I've taken out a lot of the rhythm. It's a short B. And then back into the A, a but with a different arrangement. Pianos are doing the piano is doing its kind of these like this chords.
pull out the drums. This contrapuntal vocal bit. take these vocals out hard. Yes, we do. Should really filter those. That's it. We're done. Um, so that's it. I mean, it's all right. It's, I mean, but you see the process. So, and you see, <coughs> <coughs> you see, you do need quite a lot of little ideas inside each idea to make it all work. Um, you know, there's, because if you unpack, okay, you say, okay, this basically goes A, B, B, A. Uh, and that's your, t that's the, there's your two and a half minutes. But actually, if you unpack that A, there's the piano part, there's the harp part, there's all kinds of other little sort of macro bits of the um, of the composition going on in there. Um, so to get and this, you know, this only limps towards two and a half minutes. It doesn't exactly crest the line with all guns blazing, does it? I mean, so you re and I really I could put in loads more ideas in there little subtle things which just make it more interesting and a bit more a little bit less like a travel commercial <laughs> anyway look this has been epic and long and I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful and um, I will be back with more stuff before you possibly know it so thanks very much for your company see you soon okay update this is day two. I know I said two hours, but when I came back and listened to the piece again the next morning, it just sounded like a slightly naff travel commercial. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's not. Okay. And I think the problem is that little tune, that little tune on the harp. So I've had another bash and I've taken, uh, I've, I've, that's all I've changed. I wasn't, you know, I could pull it around for hours. And what you often end up doing um, is writing a piece of music like that in a couple of hours, throwing the whole thing away, but thinking, okay, I really quite like some of those vocal things. I thought that was quite cool. So maybe I'll keep that and I'll try something else. And so it's an evolutionary iterative process, but I couldn't send this one out the door sounding like that. So I've now gone back in, changed that harp line. So it's less strongly melodic, less hooky and less twee and cliche. I mean, still a bit twee and cliche. It's, it would not feel out of place on a cruise line commercial, but I think it's a couple of steps better than it was last night. I'll show you what I mean. Right, so what exactly have I been up to? Um, let me just have a little, uh, let me show you. I, I, probably the easiest thing is if I just play it through for you. So um, the bit I've chosen, uh, I've changed is this bit here, um, the Tyrolean harp. Oh, here we go. Stick my headphones on. Um, well, you're here. Here we go. Let's just run it through. So this is all the same. So that little piano, you know, piano uh, riff, which holds the whole thing together in a way, remains exactly the same. In come the voice. And in octaves. Then some little eighth note slow runs, which sort of work as a counterpoint against the rest. So I'm not hitting people over the head with this tune. It doesn't come back again, that's it. 
I could make a comeback later, but... And then after the drop, I keep this little run going, because I quite like it. It sort of glues it together. Now into B. And there's the piano doing its thing up the top. Coming up to another change. Ready? Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Back to A. But without the earlier theme. I don't think it needs it. Drop some stuff out here. You can see the kick's gone. Then it's going to come back in here. Two, three, four. So it's all, it's, it's multiple layers all layering up. I don't think we need a kick on the down there. Get rid of that. Ready? One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, there you go. That's it. I mean, it, it, it still sounds a little bit like um, an advert for a cruise. <laughs> to be brutally honest but look, I mean look, I think it's a bit better I mean <clears throat> so there are times when you are better off not having a, uh, a strong you know a hooky kind of motif or at least not that hooky motif and so this piece is built more in sort of little sort of sort of layers and things like that anyway look I hope you found this useful and you know enjoyable and it's given you kind of some ideas of the ways you might be able to develop some of your stuff as well so look um if you've enjoyed this um then there's stuff to download you know good stuff which you might enjoy uh, just underneath the video and if you're new to the channel very nice to have you along consider subscribing uh, a special offer this week it's completely free uh, to subscribe to the channel uh, to, uh, you know it's always free look Thank you very much indeed once again for your company and I really look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye-bye.